two years ago, after I had been serving in pastoral ministry for several years now, and crazy to begin with that I would even be in pastoral ministry. I think if I was in high school, they would say the least likely candidate to do something like that, I would have been there. And here I am serving and, and loving it and growing. And as things progress and my training progresses, and I, I really feel a call to to kind of move to uh, our, our next calling, our, our next mission that the Lord's laid, laid upon us. And I remember at that time, I came across this idea of church planting. I hadn't really heard of it before. Uh, you hear of church planting, and the first thing that comes to my mind is, what is the church planting? Like, I don't, I don't get this. But then I, I did some research, did some reading, kind of found out what it was and got excited. Even talked to some church planters. I just started randomly calling different church planters and uh, talking to them about what it was. And I got excited. And I, I remember I went to the two really most influential people in my life during that time. And I uh, went to my mentor and kind of laid it out to him what my ideas were and what we we're thinking. And, and he's, he's like, nah, I, I don't think that's a good idea. Probably, probably not a good idea for you. He, he was very tactful in that. Then I went to my wife and laid it out for her and she basically said, no way, we will never do that. Are you crazy? Uh, and started asking me with all these, or started asking all these questions back to me like, well, we got a young family, what are we gonna do about that? And so on and so on. And um, I guess I just kind of dropped it at that point thinking, well, maybe, maybe it's just not meant to be, you know? But the thought never left me. And it, about a year went by and, and I had different opportunities to assume, which would have been fairly good I guess, pastoral roles, and I just didn't feel the Lord's hand in it. And I remember after the last one, I, I had a conversation with, with a group of people and just didn't feel it was the Lord's direction. I literally remember this time, I, I looked at my wife and it was, we haven't talked about this in uh, for about a year at this time. And it was literally like at the same time we looked at each other and both brought up that we need to plant a church, which only God would orchestrate something like that. Literally, the timing was just absolutely impeccable. And we both at that time said, yeah, yeah, I think this is it. This is, this is the calling. When Eric first came to me and said, hey, honey, what do you think about planning a church? I said, what? <laughs> planning a church? And he says, yeah, you know, America is in need of a new church. And I thought, I don't want to be a missionary, honey. I'm not called to be on the mission field. Like, that's like triple working plus you're building a church and we have two kids at home and I'm pregnant. I don't think that's our calling. Um, and then you know how God works. A few years later we went searching for our new position and we went through a couple different church options to be a lead pastor and for some reason it was almost instantaneous. We both looked at each other and we said no we need to plant church. And that's really what started both of us kind of fire. And the Lord just really spoke to me and said, no, 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 you got to give up your comfort and go out and you got to reach souls in America because we are in need here. And um, it has just started us on this awesome, incredible journey. So since then, we've just uh, got trained, uh, getting planned and prepared. And uh, now we're finally in that stage where we're excited to officially launch. And the, the idea for our church has really been birthed from Acts chapter 13 in the book of Acts. And what you have here is, is the church at Antioch, which this is a port city and you have this very, very diverse group of people who are together. They're representing uh, over five different ethnic backgrounds. They're representing these different spiritual gifts, these different experiences, these different backgrounds, and they've all come together. This is a very diverse group. They've come together and they've unified on the same mission. And what we read in Acts chapter 13 is their mission is to send out Paul and Barnabas to go and to start more churches. Paul and Barnabas had been there training them, and now they're getting sent out to go and start more churches. And the, the thought of what took place here at this church at Antioch has just overwhelmed me. This unity and diversity, this group coming together, and this group... The reason they came together was they have been impacted by this one life. This one life of Jesus and they're living their one life they have to the fullest. And that's really where the name has come from, which is One Life Church. And from that, our, our, our vision, our mission, what we see is One Life Church really exists to represent or represent, depending on how you want to look at it, represent the, the church as a community of faith, love, and hope to Genesee County and beyond by 
training leaders and planting churches. This is our specific mission and calling and vision, and uh, we're excited to do it. And one of the key things we've been praying for is that the, the Lord would bring a team of people together that have uh, different gifts, that are have better gifts in many different areas. And it's been really awesome to see his hand at work. Uh, I know one of the guys, our, our worship leader, has come on board, and man, he's just throwing some energy and excitement into that, and we're just pumped about that. Uh, just different people stepping up in different areas just because they want to impact this community, and that's what we're doing. So we're One Life Church, here to uh, represent the church as a community of faith, love, and hope.